Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about a special game that I've recently discovered, Dreams in the Witch House. And why is this game so special? Because it's a very unique mix of survival and resource management with point and click adventure puzzles. And it's something that I've never played in this way before. And spoilers, it's great. So let me tell you about how this game works and why I like it so much. Some of you fellow Lovecraft enjoyers might have recognized that the title of the game is also the title of a short story by H.P. Lovecraft and that's no coincidence obviously. The game incorporates many aspects of the Lovecraft mythos and more successfully in my opinion than most of the other games. There is this great sense of discovery when you learn more about the occult happenings in Arkham. But with each discovery you also feel like you are losing more and more grip on reality and spiral into this mad nightmare of old gods and cosmic deities that are way beyond human comprehension. The game takes its time to introduce you to these concepts step by step and you always have this foreshadowing of things lurking just below the surface of everyday life. And the best thing about all this is how effortlessly and ingenious the gameplay is intertwined with these elements of storytelling and the overall atmosphere. At first your activities are rather mundane. You have to study at the university, prepare for an exam, work on your papers, get enough food, get enough sleep, your everyday busy life. What keeps you motivated through these mundane tasks are on the one hand that your character gets more knowledge and actually has stats that increase and it's a nice grind to feel that you learn more about the world and then you can identify more stuff and you get new interaction possibilities based on that. The other thing is that you uncover bit by bit more what's happening in Arkham or more specifically at the room that you stay because you're not just staying in any room, but in a very creepy room with a rich history in the witch house itself. So it starts by just mundane things like you hear rats at the night or have weird dreams, but soon enough you learn that there are more things at stake here, that you have to look out for your sanity, your health and maybe even have to save the whole world. Now how do you go about doing that? Well, besides taking care of your everyday needs, You'll encounter different randomized events, characters and puzzles in the game. Those are often your typical point and click puzzles, where you have to combine items in your inventory or in the scene, or you have to do research and find artifacts in the archive or clues in old newspapers. You can die in this game when your health or sanity reaches zero, but there are different difficulty settings and on the easiest one that's really not a big issue. Other than that you can obviously miss a few things and fail some puzzles which will normally not directly lead to a game over but to different endings. So on my first playthrough I've got the worst ending but I still had a great time so it didn't feel punishing to me but I was motivated to play through the game a second time. That's when I learned that there are quite a few randomized elements in the game so every playthrough plays a bit differently and you won't just find the same information at the same spot during the same time or with the same characters every time. So when I first played the game I thought that the game mechanics were more of a novelty or a gimmick and that they could not hold my attention for long. But well, quite to the contrary, I've spent more than 10 hours in this game now and I still want to do a third playthrough. Maybe it's just my lizard brain that always want to do the next task and it's really hard for me to stop playing the game sometimes because there's always so much to do and so much to discover. And these discoveries and this detective style gameplay is really what makes this a standout Lovecraft game to me. I don't just want to shoot at tentacle things, I want to have the horror inside my head and my imagination. I really want to see more developers experimenting with the point and click genre and I can't wait what the next game from Atom Brain Games will be like. I hope you check out the game for yourself if you haven't done so already and tell me your thoughts about it. And with that, see ya!